Number one, getting maxed out partners or love interests. Who doesn't love friends? But we all play Fallout 4. At least if you're watching this, you probably do, which means you don't have any friends. You don't socialize. You're busy grinding in the wasteland. But don't worry, Fallout 4 has you covered with companions. You could get friends, you could get bestest friends, you could get pets, and you can get lovers like Kate here. But don't take Kate, she's mine. She also really likes drugs like Psycho, so you don't want Kate anyway. Hi, Kate. Talk to me. Relationship. See that? How do you think things are between us? We're together. That's all I care about. Everything else doesn't matter. See that? She loves me clearly. Anyway, uh, quick note if you do decide to go through and get all the companions and max them out and stuff like that, the perks don't go away. So for her, she gives, I believe, flush trigger. Let me quickly go check. Ah, she gives trigger rush. Thanks to your relationship with Kate, action points regenerate faster if your health is below 25%. Each companion, or at least most of them, I think all of them, to my knowledge at least, give a special perk. So that's the one she gives. And another thing, because she is a relationship companion, if I sleep, I also get, but it's Love Embrace, it gives, I believe, three times more experience for a short duration of time so yeah companions super useful super fun to have plus they can help you fight and stuff and they don't die so that's super cool now that you have all your companions and friends in the world or your lover you're gonna need some armor for them but not just any armor no 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 you're gonna need matching armor sets things like the doctor set these are all Toaster Bath's personal sets, patent pending. Uh, but feel free to copy them, because they look super nice. As you can see here, we have the Doctor set with the fashionable glasses. If I click on this, this one is that, this is that. And of course, I have more than one set, though. Because, you know, while, com while conquering the wasteland, you have to look stylish. You gotta look good, right? So we have the Western set, looking fine as ever. We got the classical vault set both from 88 because that's my vault it's the best one we also have this one over here got the clean black suits with the raider gang helmets they looking so dapper right now freaking love that that's what i was wearing but i decided we need some real armor if we're going to be conquering the wasteland you know something more protective which is why she currently has on her combat armor and fatigues and i got on my marine set yeah. Now, of course, having all of those nice snazzy armor sets are nice and all. However, what if you want a little more firepower? Well, head on down to your local Toaster Baths Robo Rockets Refuge, <clears throat> Red Rocket, and you can get all the power armors in the game. Specifically, all the power armor paints in the game. If we go up here, now with the DLCs, there's some special power armors, but even if you don't have the DLCs, there's still paints you can get for your power armor, so don't worry. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different kinds. We have the Atom Cats, classic one from the classic game, black with a nice fiery design. We have the Shark Paint one, one of my personal favorites. I love how this looks. If you find the magazine for it, you can put this on armor. You have, oh, red one. Hold on, I'm trying to get this this nice view but it's a little difficult to uh the red one the pink one uh we got the vim sets so these come on come on there we go these ones show off a vim style power armor that we got the nuka cola ones and then we got some normal paint ones these are cleaning products well actually one of them is the other is a cereal brand sugar bombs in fact before we continue i'll give you a quick second go get your sugar bombs ready for this next one you're gonna you're gonna want to You may be wondering, Toaster Bath, why the heck is it going to take that long that I need to go get my classic brand of sugar bombs? What takes that long? Well, let me tell you guys, you've already beat the end game. You beat the game, you did everything. You're at the last part of the game. I get it. I get it. There's not a lot to do. But hear me out. What if 
you did all of the quests. Now, I don't mean all the main story quests that everyone's already completed. No, no, no. I mean every single quest. Hi, Kate. Uh, check this out. We're going to go into my Pip-Boy here. And as you can see, I have every quest completed in the game. If there is any other quests that I haven't completed, well, you betcha I'm going to do it. If I get it, I'm going to complete it. Because why wouldn't I? Wow, that takes a while to scroll up to. I need to go outside, huh? That's okay. Uh, and you may be saying, Well, Toaster Bath, what do you mean? You have a miscellaneous quest right there. I did all the miscellaneous ones except for this one. And I'll show you why right now. Alright, the sun is now down and it's raining. But we finally made it here. Now, as you can see, the quest is marking somewhere in here. So you may be saying, Why don't you go talk to her? Well, it's kind of hard talking to someone that's dead. Since you've beat every quest in the game, if you're following along step by step, you probably have some settlements, because that means you did the Minutemen quests in Elton Sanctuary. So why not go to one of those settlements and make it as crazy and cool as you can? Set up a bunch of stores like weapon store- Are you interrupting my video? What's your problem? Don't worry. Oh, good. Is that another quest? Oh my gosh. Dang it. Now I need to go back a step and do the... <sighs> Alright. I'll do that in a second. Anyway, set up, set, up, set up some stores, as you can see here. And, and some other stuff. Make some, some, some walls, some nice things. Make everything you can as crazy as you can. Red Rocket usually looks all boring like a little gas station. Now I can see Red Rocket all the way from Sanctuary. Look at that thing. It's massive. I send all the robots there. So yeah, make a settlement as crazy as you can, as big as you can. Set up a bunch of shops, set up defense, set up a giant food supply. Do everything your imagination can possibly hold all in the confinements of your nice settlement. And, and you know what? Step six. After you've completed step five and maxed out a settlement, why stop there? Why not go ahead and get all the settlements and set up supply lines to all of them? I don't know if I have all the settlements, I'm gonna be honest, but I do have a decent amount of them so far. This is only in the Commonwealth. I have other settlements in Far Harbor and Nuka World. But yeah, go obtain all the settlements you can in the DLCs or in the base game if you don't want to buy the DLCs because you're poor like I am. If you've done all the quests like I told you guys to do, you would have probably got a lot of experience. And you, what, what are you going to do with all that experience? What do you think, huh? Of course, you're going to put it into your perk chart, because why wouldn't you do that? Hey, I'm talking here. I'm making a video here. Anyway, you're going to put it into your perk chart. You're going to go here, and look at that. I got a level up, too. Love level ups. You're going to go through. You're going to choose whatever perk you want to put it into. Bop. And there you go, now you have one out of a bajillion points to use. So as you can see here, it's quite a big perk chart, there's a lot of things you can do. I got a decent amount of them, all spread out. Most people end the game at level 20 though, you don't want to end at level 20 or 40. You want to grind it out. Even after completing all the quests in the game, as far as I'm concerned, I still don't even have max. So it's going to take a while, and you might need to use glitches. I'm not gonna, but, you know, some people might. No shame in your game. But go ahead, go get as many perks as you possibly can. And yeah, that's number seven. Numbers, number eight. You know what would really help with going through and getting all the quests done and all this other crazy stuff? Some legendary weapons. But they're pretty rare to get, of course. However, Lucky for all of you, Bethesda is nice enough to let us have something called Legendary Farming. You go to a place that typically has a Legendary Spawn, or can at least, and then you reset and blah blah blah. I'm not going to explain the whole thing of course because that's just too long for a video. However, there are a lot of great farming videos out there and if you guys really want, I'll make my own for you guys. I don't mind. 
Um, so yeah, go through, do some legendary farming. Get whatever legendary you want. There's a lot of really cool ones. Um, I prefer something like an explosive shotgun or minigun. Oh, there you go. Uh, those do a lot of damage and are just really crazy. There's some really broken legendaries you can get in the game, so... Go ahead, go do some legendary farming. Stack up that legendary loot box, you know? Legendary? Ah, oh, it's not that good. Mine is pretty simple, however, go over to your space, wherever it may be, mine is in my vault, and organize everything. This is the chest for weapons. I should make a second one for legendary weapons specifically. I just haven't yet. Uh, these are for medical stuff aid. This is for bombs and other things like that. This is for weapon mods. I have some weapons on the wall. This is for legendary armor. This is for apparel, not legendary. You know, just, just organize everything. Make it look all spiffy, you know? I like that word. Go comment below Spiffy if you're enjoying the video. Remember, Spiffy, that's S-P-I-F-F-Y. Spiffy. Isn't that right? Hey. Hey. Spiffy. And for number 10, before I tell you, don't forget to go like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Go subscribe so that way, you know, uh, everything goes well and you, you get to see the part 2 to this video. Yeah, there's a there's a part 2 coming out. You didn't see that coming. But anyway, uh, the last one, number 10, is going to be make sure all your people look spiffy. You know, because like I was saying, spiffy is a pretty important word. Hey, buddy. Trade. Anyone in your settlement, I want you to go and suit them up. That's number 10. Go and suit up everyone in your settlement. You can't be the only one that looks nice. Uh, you know what? You're gonna, you're, you can have this striped suit. Bop. There you go. We're businessmen around here. We all wear suits. Except for me. I'm a freaking unit.